Hi guys, welcome back. All right, I already tried to record this book one time today and of course we're having technical difficulties. So I think I'm just gonna need to leave my camera on in the bottom corner. It seems like that is the problem. When I turn that off, all of a sudden it gets finicky, sorry. So you'll get to watch me, but pay attention to the book. It's way better. Cat Kong instead of King Kong by Dave Pilkey. Okay, this is a hilarious story. They, Dave did it, such a great job. Starring Flash as Professor Vincent Varmint, Rabies as Rosie Rodent, Dwayne as Captain Charles Limburger, and Blueberry as the monster. There he is. So funny. All right. Here we go. I'll try and get the glare off the story. One dark and perilous night, three mouse explorers sailed toward a strange uncharted island. Let's zoom in so I don't have to hold this so hard. Captain Charles Limburger steering the tiny vessel while Dr. Varmint, Vincent Varmint, and his beautiful assistant, Rosie Rodent, looked on. When they reached the island, the three explorers were astonished. A group of natives was performing an ancient ceremony, offering up a sacrificial can of tuna fish and repeating the mysterious chant, he kitty kitty, he kitty kitty, he kitty kitty kitty. Suddenly the island began to tremble. Crashing through the thick forest came the most frightening creature ever known to mouse kind, the mighty Cat Kong. Meowing and hissing ferociously, the colossal cat took three giant kitty steps and tripped over the tuna fish can. Clunk! Cat Kong bumped his head on the ground and was knocked out cold. If only we could bring him back to the city with us, said Dr. Varmint. No, replied Rosie Rodent. It would be wrong to take this creature away from its natural habitat just to satisfy our scientific curiosity. Forget science, squeaked Dr. Varmint. Think of all the money we could make. So the three explore explorers wrapped Cat Kong in a giant burlap bag and tied him tightly to the ship. And they sailed back to the great city of Mousopolis. They took special care not to let the cat out of the bag. Several days later in downtown Mousopolis, Dr. Varman unveiled his discovery to a sold out crowd. Ladies and gentle mice, he squeaked, I give you Cat Kong, the nine-lived wonder of the world. The audience cheered. Yay! Cat Kong, however, was not amused. The towering tomcat hissed and meowed wildly. Do not be afraid, Dr. Varmint told the crowd. There is no way this creature can escape. I repeat. There is no way this creature can escape. Well, uh, actually, I could be wrong about that. I love how it looks like he's got like a little dark hair wig there. Soon the city of Mouseopolis was in a panic. The ferocious feline tore through the streets, knocking down buildings, ripping out power lines, and generally causing quite a ruckus. Captain Charles Limburger rushed off to organize a counterattack team while the beautiful Rosie Rodent watched the destruction from her apartment window. Help! cried the engineer. The cat's got my train! Help! squeaked the butcher. The cat's got my tongue! Today's special beef tongue. 350 a pound. Help! shrieked Rosie. The cat's got me! Soon the crazed cat was heading straight for the top of the Romano Inn and the beautiful Rosie tailing behind. A fleet of airplanes quickly flew into action, but their weapons were useless against the meowing menace. 
It seemed as if nothing could stop the terrifying cat Kong. Then suddenly a squeaking ray of hope rocketed through the thick clouds of gloom and despair. Captain Charles Limburger to the rescue. Captain Limburger had a plan. He swooped close to the cat Kong and held out a red package tied with gold ribbons. Hey, cat, he shouted. Look what I've got. He circled again and again, shouting, you'll never guess what's inside this package. Cat Kong stared incessantly at the cat red package. With each passing second, the colossal kitty, its interest grew. Finally, Cat Kong could stand it no longer. He had to find out what was inside that package. With one swift paw, the puzzled pussycat reached out for the red package and lost his balance. Meow! When the dust had settled, the crowd of mice gathered to view the final resting place of the mighty Cat Kong. He's fallen, said one mouse, and he can't get up, said another. Well, said the chief of police, it looks as if beauty killed the beast. No, said Dr. Varmint, as he looked sadly into the glowing red horizon. It was curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat. That was hilarious. The end.